What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'd like to do a follow-up on the uh, rocket stove build that I posted a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> um, haven't done anything to it except for fill it with the uh, lava rock. And uh, I made this uh, this part shorter so that it's, it's flush with the top now. Um, which is, you know, much nicer. You don't want that thing sticking out like mine was. Um, but other than that, it's the same as the other video. So check out the other video if you didn't catch that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out. Um, I'm going to start this thing with, you know, we got a little assortment of, of twigs uh, that'll be the fuel for this. Uh, and then some tinder that I like to use, which is cotton balls uh, rolled around in petroleum jelly, which really takes a spark very well. And then my, uh, my striker. And then um, what I'm going to do to test this thing out is um, I'm going to boil uh, four cups of water. Uh, and see how long that takes, kind of time it for you guys. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, grill here just to kind of keep this thing from falling off the top. So anyway, these are all things on hand that I have as, uh, as emergency um, preparedness uh, tools and, and supplies. And uh, so we're going to give this a shot and test it out for you. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, I'm just going to strike some sparks here. On the tinder, I've got some uh, some wood in there, and uh, we're gonna see how this works. I've never started this thing before, so this is totally trial and error here. Okay, the tinder took the uh, the spark there. So hopefully these, these twigs will light. Should see the uh, the fire poking over the top right about now. Uh, that was just three cotton balls uh, rolled around in petroleum jelly. And I have about eight or so uh, medium sized twigs kind of poked in there. Looks like it's uh, started pretty well. Yep, twigs are lit. So I'm gonna go ahead and save you the boredom here and uh, cut this out and then start it up when, uh, when I think it's hot enough to boil the water. Okay, uh, this thing's been going for a few minutes now. Um, one thing I've noticed is that you definitely have to keep pushing these these sticks forward, keep uh, keep putting new new twigs in uh, as the old ones burn, or it'll it'll die out pretty quickly. Uh, it hasn't died on me, but uh, but it it flared down a little bit. So so definitely you're gonna have to manage this uh, a little bit. There's not a lot of room for a ton of fuel in there, so it will burn burn that fuel out. Um, relatively quickly if you're using little bitty twigs like I am. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put the grate on the top here. Just again so that uh, so that this thing doesn't fall off. And I'm using a fairly large uh, pot or pan for, for four cups worth but uh, I wanted to give it as much surface area as I could. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the lid on this and start the timer. And we'll see how long this takes to boil. All right, so I just wanted to show, um, you know, this is definitely working. There's a lot of condensation on there from the smoke. Um, it's still, you know, burning down in there. Uh, the flames, you know, they're not licking out the sides or anything like that, it's, it's not huge, huge, but uh, as long as you keep those sticks, you know, pushed in down here, uh, you're, you're good to go up here, and it is still still going, and not a ton of smoke, there's a little bit, but uh, I'm sure that um, depends on what kind of uh, fuel you're using, and then, see, this isn't super hot down here, this, this actually works really good, you can get your hands right in there to kind of push this all forward, and uh, we've been going about five minutes now, and we'll Keep you posted. Okay, we are at the 15 minute mark and this thing is boiling. Let me show you. 
pretty pretty strong boil there. Um, now, 15 minutes might seem like a little bit of time, you know, too long for some of you um, at first at first thought. But keep two things in mind here. Number one is um, you have to consider that uh, you have a bunch of insulation in this. So the longer you have this thing burning before you throw a pot on there, uh, the more that insulation on the outside, in this case my lava rock, is going to heat up and, uh, and and produce more more heat and, and insulate that heat so that it comes straight up that pipe. Um, the second thing to keep in mind is is the fuel. I mean, this these are just small twigs, and and I ended up using about twice as much as the original pile that I showed you guys, but uh, but you know that's about 60 seconds of, of picking up, you know twigs under the trees in my my uh, yard so uh, it's really not that bad for the amount of uh, effort put into it that's a pretty good boil um, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it it's pretty good for for very cheap and with with almost unlimited fuel uh, this would be very handy now the other thing to keep in mind as well is I used four cups of, of water which is probably more than than you'd want to be boiling at a time if you're just one person but I wanted to use kind of a practical amount of water if you're if you're treating um, you know you have to use uh, if you need to disinfect your water uh, and kill the germs in it and everything uh, you're going to want to boil as much water as possible and this is about as much as you're ever going to be able to feasibly boil on this thing um, so anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully it's useful for you, and I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm fairly impressed with this thing. Thanks.